Hey there, today we're in a different location. So it's going to be a, I guess it's a location shoot. I'm uh, at a uh, office building and uh, I've been watching the uh, Friday the 13th documentary. But uh, I'm going to talk about that a bit later. It's uh, getting close to Halloween time and we're going to talk about uh, trick or treating. Or more specifically, we're going to talk about Halloween candy, so uh, let's go. So it's close to Halloween time again, and uh, a lot of companies nowadays forget about Halloween. <laughs> so far, like I said in an earlier video, one of my uh, most uh, the biggest places I've seen horror has been at the Shoppers Drug Mart. Surprise, surprise. And Nestle has come out with a uh, line of Halloween's Centric candies. They've taken their smarties and made them scary. Uh, scaries. Don't have them here with me, but Kit Kat is uh, still Kit Kat, but it has a black cat on it. Uh, Coffee Crisp is now Coffin Crisp. And uh, Arrow is Scarrow. So it's neat, that with, and they each have their own little uh, Halloween packaging to them. And that's the exciting news. But what's even more exciting news for that is that. Uh, Recently, well, of course, they had the Halloween editions of uh, Ca Count Chocula, Booberry, and Frankenberry in the States. I unfortunately don't live in the States, and uh, I'm going to have to require one of my state-bound friends to actually get me these cereals. Because they came out with, by bringing back two of my favorites from childhood. First, they brought back Fruit Brute, which was a, a 70s uh, cereal that uh, I think was taken off in 1984, and then they brought back Yummy Mummy, which uh, was a cereal that came out about 87, but uh, didn't make it. Now, all five of these cereals are back in your shelves at your local Walmart, or better yet, if you can get it at Target, Target will have the uh, actual original packaging from the uh, cereal, and it's, that's a Target exclusive, so uh, it's pretty cool. It's cool to see that uh, some companies still take Halloween serious as a holiday. It's not just about horror movies and stuff anymore, and uh, it's uh, still a large part of our childhood. And for us that didn't grow up, I'm definitely going to be picking up all of the uh, Nestle Halloween candies. Uh, this was just way too cool to pass up. My uh, better half said, you know, you're just going to throw the packaging in the garbage, but uh, you really can't for something like this. It's, uh, it's just too cool. For years I had the, uh, remember Batman and Robin, the crabby movie, but... Awesome cereal box covers, yeah. In particular, and all that, I had those. In a move, I lost them, uh, which is the only reason I lost them. I would still have them to this day because, as crappy as a movie is, that was really, really cool merchandising. And merchandising was key for those things, especially when, it's, when you have a movie that, that's that, that is that bad. Uh, what's your favorite Halloween uh, type of a treat or a horror centric uh, candy or cereal? For me, uh, growing up, it was. Uh, Count Chocula and Fruit Brute. Uh, those were two of the big ones. And uh, of course, Frankenberry. And uh, to a lesser extent, Blueberry and, uh, and Yummy Mummy. Which, but you still love them all. And uh, when it came around, I was the geeky kid that loved Halloween. So, and horror. Basically anything. So anything I could get my hands on horror-wise, I did get my hands on. And uh, one of them was uh, were those cereals, which I got to say, I'm extremely excited about it. We're supposed to have a Target opening up here in November, which I'm worried that they're going to be out of it by then, so I'm going to order online or something. I'm not sure yet. Uh, scary, I'm serious. Uh, really cool. When I saw this, I geeked out like a kid. But uh, I was the geeky kid. I was the kid that went around every Halloween and uh, got in a character when I, when I went trick-or-treating. So one year, I think was around the time that the uh, motion picture was coming out, a Star Trek motion picture. And being the tracky geek and growing up when, around the original Star Trek when I was a kid, I, uh, I was Spock. And uh, if you remember the costumes back then, it wasn't like the full masks and stuff that you have now. It was like this, kind of like a plasticky suit, and it would be like a mask with eye holes and a elastic around it. So really, really kind of elastic. So I went around and uh, in complete character, instead of uh, saying, uh, Trick or treat. I went to each door, and that I knocked on, I did this, and said, "Live long and prosper." Yeah. 
what that really uber geeky stuff is the stuff you remember down the road. So that got me to thinking and when I was doing this day, I was wondering what type of video I wanted to do. What did I want to make? Uh, and uh, picking up these scaries kind of gave me the idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk about the uh, Halloween cereals that were out and uh, make a video just on those, but I'm sure every one of us here that's of that age and in like we're serial freaks at the time when you're a kid and your programs are coming out in the morning and you're grabbing your big bowl of cereal and you're watching your Saturday morning cartoons if you're old enough to remember where Saturday morning cartoons are and uh, or you're there and it's like or if you're like me and you are got a big bowl of Count Chocula and uh, you're sitting down behind your couch watching the uh, Stephen King miniseries uh, Salem's Lot with uh, David Soul. Uh, she was actually one of his, uh, gotta be his best miniseries. I did recently a review on the uh, Shining miniseries with, uh, well, that with, uh, along with the original one. I kind of did a retrospective. So if you've seen that, uh, it's a two parter. Hopefully you have. If you haven't, check it out. It's actually, uh, I'm proud of that one. But the big thing here is what's your favorite Halloween candy? When you were going around as a kid, were you like the, uh, the mini bar person? Did you like the uh, Halloween Kisses? Or were you the guy that uh, wanted to get the nougat bars or the uh, chips? Were you hoping you were going to get some cheesies? Uh, what stuck out for you as your ultimate Halloween candy? Now, for me, back in the day, there was a couple of things that I really, really enjoyed. I was a big chip fan, but uh, that wasn't my favorite Halloween candy. I loved the Candy Kisses at the time. And uh, Halloween Kisses. And I liked the... Uh, those nougat bars, you know, those little white bars with the kind of like the jelly colored things in them. Um, a lot of people find them utterly disgusting, but I gotta say, I loved those bars, and they were like a, a big part of my childhood. Uh, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I think now, I actually found them in a uh, Walmart, and I was gonna buy it, and I passed on it at the time. When I went back, like they're all gone, they're in this like little, not a thing, but kind of like a basket thing in the area so <clears throat> I keep going back to check to see if they're there I got a feeling that they're there but I'm just missing them each time because I I kind of think that the nougat bars are probably not the most popular things that you're going to see and by the way I'm rocking the tin tin here today uh, but what is your favorite candy what did you look forward to when you were a child <clears throat> were you be buying the cereals that are coming out were you going to you going to jump in and get the uh, fruit brute and the yummy mummy as well I know for me, I'm going to be looking for them. I've already gone into every Walmart here, and just in the off case chance that uh, they'd finally show up here in a in Canadian Walmart. They haven't yet. Uh, it's pretty cool, though, that they are, actually have those out. Uh, every week when I go shopping for groceries, I actually look to see if, by chance, some store has actually brought in Count Chocula or uh, any of them. Uh, Frankenberry, Boo Boo, anything. Any of the horses. Nothing has been brought in. Uh, there's so many cool stuff. And, you know, there's probably a lot of horror-centric foods and stuff that I'm not thinking about right now. I remember. Oh, yeah. There was this really cool pasta. Uh, and they changed the flavoring of it. At the, I don't think even they have it anymore, anyway. It was called, like, uh, Scarios or something like that. And it had, like, a kind of like ghosts and stuff and it was uh, a little bit tangier spicier than most of the pasta spaghettis that were at the time and I just remember really really enjoying it I found it really really cool it's one of those things that I haven't seen since but uh, that I've always liked so right now guys I'm in a new location and uh, great lighting I can say I love the lighting here uh, unfortunately this is going to be my probably my one off on this location if, unless I do another video while I'm here tonight but Thanks for watching. Let me know your favorite candy, your favorite cereal, your favorite horror-centric food that, uh, you know, let me know the ones I missed. Uh, do a response video and tell me what your favorite Halloween uh, times are, Halloween trick-or-treating was. This was mine, and uh, did you pick up any of these Nestle things? If you haven't, are you going to? Thanks for watching, guys. I really, really need the tea because my voice is going, so uh, for me right now, it is uh, time for scaries. And it's also time for tea.